Hey, what's up, everybody? Shade Raid here again with another video for you. Um, I'll try and get this camera set up a little bit better. Unfortunately, this is about as good as it's going to get for what uh, what you can see on the screen. Might go turn that light off in the back. That way it'll cut down some of the glare and shit like that. Give me one second. Ah. So what I'm going to do for you today is try and do a quick little detailed video of exactly what you got to do to like update your BIOS and install Windows and stuff like that on a fresh motherboard once you put your boot kit in and that kind of shit. Oh, I'm going to take my wallet out of my pocket and stab me in the ass. Okay, so, um, Nyaker, I hope I'm saying your name right. This one's mainly for you since you want to know exactly how to flash your BIOS. Just trust me, dude. Sending your motherboard back to uh, MSI is going to be just as long as a process, you know, as fucking waiting for your boot kit from, from AMD and shit like that. So, um, so what you're going to need is pretty much two flash drives. I just happened to steal one from work and then I went and bought one. Um, one flash drive you're going to put Windows onto. Uh, you'll go to like Windows website. You'll download the, there's a specific way to do it. You know, go to downloads and then download the Windows installer, like Windows, you know, um, it's like a very specific, it, it'll be different from just downloading Windows, and then it'll install onto a USB drive, it'll put everything on here that you need to install Windows um, onto a fresh, you know, um, hard drive or a fresh motherboard. On the other one is where you're going to download your um, BIOS update onto, and it's honestly just easier to have two of them, because then you can keep this as a backup just in case Windows ever fucks up. Um, just leave Windows on here by itself, and that way you can repair Windows and that shit from this USB and then for this USB, clear it, make it completely, um, you know, open or whatever with nothing else on it. Um, and that's where we're going to put the BIOS update onto. So, real quick, um, I'm going to go on here. I was just watching some uh, Star Wars The Old Republic freaking um, cinematics real quick while I was, you know, benchmarking and that kind of shit. Because these cinematics are fucking badass. Ugh, I know my camera doesn't do it much justice, um, but... If you haven't played Star Wars The Old Republic and you're a Star Wars fan, trust me, it's worth checking out. Um, it is free to play, you know, for the most part. Obviously, there's a lot of restrictions, kind of like World of Warcraft, where you can't do a lot of, you know, certain things. You have, like, a, a cap on your level. You have a cap on um, how much gold you can carry and all that kind of stuff. But the level cap is super, super high. I'm pretty sure you can get almost to, like, max level uh, without paying and stuff like that. So, check it out. I love this freaking game. I played it for years. Um... One of the reasons why I wanted to build a PC, get back into it, and play with some of my buddies. So, um, alright, we'll exit out of this real quick. And we'll quit. Alright, so, this camera angle is just awful, huh? Sorry about that. I hope you can kind of see. I know it's kind of crap, but that's literally about as close as I can get with this power cord on this thing. Alright, so what we're going to do, so let's just pretend this is um, the A6 9500 that they gave you, and what we're going to do is we're going to start over, because when you put the A6 9500 in, you won't have Windows installed, um, you won't have your BIOS update, you won't have any of that stuff, so you're pretty much just going to have to go into um, your BIOS right from the start. So we'll restart this real quick. Just had a lot of random shit open, so it's taking a second. Hold on, sorry. Usually it boots pretty damn quick. This solid state drive, you know, for being as cheap as it was, it's pretty damn quick. Oh, come on. Don't start with an ambulance outside. All right, so hit delete, hit delete, hit delete. And that'll take you into your BIOS. Um, so what we're going to do... Sorry, I'm trying to make this better. It's just... Not that great. See if I can tap in the middle. Nope. Can't make it zoom, focus any better. All right. So from in here, what you're going to have to do is get your uh, USB drive with Windows on it to boot up and install Windows. So just pretend this is brand spanking new. This is your A6 9500. You don't have Windows installed. You don't have your BIOS updated, um, and you don't have your 2400G in yet. So from this screen, um, I'm in the advanced mode. So when you start it up, you're going to see this mode. Um, as you can see right now, I have my thing overclocked to 4 gigahertz, 3200 megahertz RAM, blah, blah. Just ignore all that for the moment. So from this screen, um, you have a couple options. 
and every BIOS is going to be a little bit different. Even with MSI, the BIOS might look a little bit different. Right here is your boot priorities, um, and you can change them and rearrange them um, to being, you know, whatever um, boot drive you want it to boot from first. Obviously, it it put my SATA 4P, uh, you know, solid uh, silicon power, solid state drive all the way over here to the front to be my main boot priority. I'm pretty sure it did that by itself once I put Windows on it and all that stuff and it recognized it. Um, but when it first starts up, it's going to be like a random mix of shit on here. And it's going to be honestly really hard to fucking understand because I still kind of have trouble with it. So what is nice is on almost all these um, motherboards and stuff like that, you can hit F10, I believe. F10. Nope. Hold on, it's one of these. I know I did it once. F11. Damn it, Paul's hardware freaking had it. And I know I did it. F9? Nope. Damn, what was it? Um, shit. I wish I could remember what the hell it was. So what you're gonna do, well, let's say I can't remember what this is, and let's say your BIOS doesn't support it. We'll do it the freaking hard way, I guess. So you're going to plug this little bugger in into one of your, you know, um, USB ports in the very back of the PC that go right into your motherboard and you're gonna figure out which one it is on here so right now it's obviously it's using my solid state drive CD DVD USB hard disk USB CD USB key that's probably gonna be the one that you're gonna use is USB key you and you want to use UEFI USB key uh, preferably if it's plugged right into the motherboard you know in the back port in the back of your computer and you'll drag it all the way over to the left and you'll drop it and that way it'll use that as its first boot priority. If for some reason that's not the right one, obviously you can grab the other, like USB, um, one over here, there's another key here. I don't think it's going to be CD and DVD, don't think it's going to be hard disk, it's got to be the key as far as I understand. So just grab it, drag it over here, and that's pretty much it. So what you want to do is save um, from here, which is F10. So you hit F10, and it brings up save configuration, UFE, so it tells you all the things that you changed, and I changed you know a bunch of stuff because I moved that one thing over. Um, and you'll hit yes, and that way it'll configure to the next time you start up your PC, it's going to try to boot from this thing um, first and foremost. So with Windows installer on here, plug this in the back of your PC, you got this thing moved all the way over, go ahead and um, save it, hit yes. Um, I believe it will either exit the installer and reboot itself automatically, um, or it'll just save and you'll be looking right back at this screen. Um, if you're looking right back at this screen, um, what you can do, let's see I put everything back to normal now. So I'm going to hit yes, I've not made any changes, I hit yes, and it reboots. So yeah, once you hit save, it reboots automatically. And then once this comes up, it should automatically recognize this little disk. So instead of going into um, this window, you know, where your BIOS is or starting up into Windows, it's going to bring up that Windows installer, you know, um, little tab on the window and you'll just follow the instructions you know pick United States for United States English blah 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 all that kind of bullshit um, if you want a more detailed version of exactly you know how that works go to Paul's hardware um, and go to his you know five things to do after installing a PC um, he's got a real nice video that's how I figured out most of this shit and um, that one will give you you know the gist of it okay so once you do that you got to install Windows you got to put in your CD key blah 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 um, it'll load up, it'll start Windows up, and it'll go to your Windows screen. So let's exit out of here real quick. We're going to hit F10, have not made any changes, yes. Um, so let's say you just did your Windows install. Um, like Paul recommends going to custom install, turn off like the tracking shit, you know, like um, where Microsoft watches, you know, what you type in and tries to create ads, you know, based on your, you know, interests and all that bullshit. Turn that shit off. That shit's dumb. They're just tracking you. So if you install Windows, you type in your CD key, blah, 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 uh, this is what will pretty much come up. You know, it'll take you to the Windows setup screen and you'll, you know, it'll ask you to put in a pin and all that kind of stuff. You want to put in a pin. Um, obviously, I have one in mine. Thank God you can't see it. And you'll load up into Windows and it'll just be a blank, you know, Windows screen with just your recycle bin up at the top. And voila, that means you have done everything correctly so far. Um, and you're almost there. 
So now that you have Windows loaded and you got the A6 9500 in there working and running, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, plug in your internet connection or connect to a wireless network. I just use Hardline on this one because I don't think this motherboard has um, wireless networking on it. I'm not really sure. I'd have to double check. I didn't pay much attention to it because I planned on being hardwired anyways. Okay, so you open this up. Um, since my motherboard manufacturer is MSI, we're going to go to MSI.com. North Carolina man shot dead on Facebook. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Okay, apparently it didn't go for some reason. Okay, is MSI having difficulties? What the fuck is going on here? Okay, MSI. Jesus Christ, I don't know why that was having such a problem. So you go to MSI. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to... Now, I had a couple difficulties with this because of my motherboard. So you go to service, up in the top, click service. Jesus, what is it running? Why is it running so damn slow right now? I swear to God, it was just running lightning fucking fast right before I started making this video. I wonder if it's MSI's web. It's got to be MSI, huh? Because everything else is running freaking quick, right? Yeah, everything else is loading up fast and quick. I think it's MSI just being a piece of shit. Come on, MSI. The fuck's the problem here, bruh? Okay. Nothing seems to be wanting to work. So I'm going to close this fucking website. And we're going to try again because I'm not really sure why it's being so weird. Like, look, I can't... It won't go. It won't search. It doesn't make any sense. not sure why it's being so fucking weird. Click service and nothing happened. What the fuck is going on here? I think MSI is just being a fucking piece of shit. So let's go to download. Go back here. Search for MSI. Go to download. See if that works. No, I think it's MSI. Well, this is a fucking awesome time for MSI to be having some fucking issues, ain't it? Can't even get the fucking website to load up. Yeah, and you want to send your fucking motherboard back to these motherfuckers, dude. Can't even get their fucking website working correctly. Like, what the shit? Nothing. Nothing working. What the fucking fuck? See, everything else works. Everything else clicks, MSI, Stone, whatever the fuck this is, countertops, that loads, support center for MSI Global. That's where you would ideally want to go, service, download, not working whatsoever. Jesus effing Christ, man. Alright, well this is a great video so far, guys. Woo, hit that likes up button if you love when shit doesn't fucking work and you're trying to fucking help people. Holy fucking shit. Um, yeah, I can get this to load, but absolutely nothing else on their fucking website loads. Service center. Driver software. Something. Holy shit. Do something. Driver software. See, this is why I get fucking mad at computers and I break my fucking laptops. Because shit never fucking works right. No matter what you fucking do, you can't ever fucking get shit to work, work right. And obviously the PC's fucking working right because everything else is loading up just fine. And I'm sure I can load up a fucking... You know, benchmark real quick. Let's bam, pop out a benchmark. DirectX, 1080p, low, run. Boom, starts up a fucking benchmark, no problem. Let's see if we can run through it. So while we're waiting on MSI to stop being a piece of shit, let's just uh, go over. I'm sitting at, uh, I did overclock this guy to 4.1 gigahertz. I did run, um, oh, what the hell is that little app? The... R15, whatever it's called, fucking app. Cinebench, that's what it is. So I did run Cinebench at 4.1 gigahertz, and I got like an 890, 895. I almost cracked the fucking 900 score, man. I was so close to cracking 900 on multi-core. Um, but it was running stable at 4.1 gigahertz and Cinebench and stuff like that. And then I tried to tinker with the graphic settings a little bit, and it pretty much would not work whatsoever. So 4.1 gigahertz is obtainable, on a cheap little cooler as long as you're not fucking with the graphics. Obviously, you want to fuck with the graphics because that's the whole point of this chip is that you can increase your um, graphics a lot. So, 
right, I have it at 4 gigahertz right now, sitting stable with 1.35 volts on the CPU. And then I cranked my... I've been tinkering with the uh, GFX core, which is what your graphics card is, the APU you know, side of it. Um, the GFX core I have cranked up to 1660 right now. I tried to get up into 1700, um, and I did all, you know, a whole bunch of different voltages and shit like that, and absolutely could not get it stable at 1700. Um, so I went back down to 1660, and I think I'm at 1.2875 volts on the GFX cores. Um, so 4 gigahertz on the CPU, and 1660 um, megahertz, I believe, on the GPU core. Um, and right now, you know, like I said, we're running at 1080p low, it's running 70, you know, 60 to 80 frames a second for the most part um, on 1080p low in this benchmark. Now, again, every game is different and every benchmark is different. This is an older benchmark from like 2009 or something like that, 2007. So I can handle it pretty darn well. Now, if I go into the new one that they made in 2017, which I, I'll run here in a minute and stuff like that, I'm barely, barely creeping on 20 frames per second. I mean, it's... It is fucking rough. It looks okay. Like, it's not like it's choppy and glitchy and jumpy or anything like that. But you can tell it's not uh, it's not as clean as it could be. But at 20 frames a second, you know, nothing's jumping or s skipping or black screening or anything like that. It does pretty darn well. Um, but this one, yeah, it was just at 80 frames a second. No problem. I'm sorry. Right, we're going to quit out of this real quick. Let's go see if MSI is done being a piece of shit. How about that? Woo, look, it popped up. Okay, MSI, good job, you fuck faces. So, when you go to the service center, this is usually what you see. It pops up here. Um, okay, still fucking around and being a dumbass. So what we're going to do is, um, you're going to want to go to Motherboard. Click Motherboard. Click Download and Manual, which will give you downloads and manuals, and see... This is where I have some issues with this fucking thing, is it pops this stupid-ass search bar up. So if you use the fine product, uh, you're going to, again, have to click fucking motherboard. Uh, Jesus Christ, man, this site is fucking garbage right now. Motherboard, download and manual. Okay, click motherboard. Go! Holy shit, dude, MSI is going to fucking make me break my new computer. You've got to be kidding me, MSI. What the fuck is wrong with your shit-ass fucking website? Okay, that's not working, so I'm going to type in X370 Gaming Pro Carbon and try to search and see, you know, we'll wait five fucking minutes for this fucking search to work, apparently. So, while that's being a piece of shit... I'm going to jump into the other uh, benchmark I was talking about, which is the Superposition benchmark. Um, and this thing is a much, much, much newer uh, freaking test. And 1080p medium is like what it defaults to. So I'm going to go to custom real quick, and I'm going to change it to 1080p low and low. I'm going to leave depth of field on and motion blur on. And um, I'll see what kind of frames it puts out real quick while we're waiting on MSI to stop being garbage. And this is all downloaded from un, um, unengine.com, I believe. Uh, they're free benchmarks. They're all, you know, there's like four of them. They're all free. I did have some issues when I installed them, um, giving me an error code when I tried to run them, saying that I was missing like an sdvrcp100.dll file or something like that. And um, it was a big fucking pain in the ass. What I had to do was just pretty much go to Microsoft and download some like C 2012C++ runtime redistribution package whatever it just auto installs and fixes itself and shit like that and that corrected everything okay so right now we're on 1080p low um, with depth of field and motion blur on and it's running at about 30 frames a second um, it's not skipping it's not jumping it's not glitchy obviously this is a you know synthetic benchmark so it's not anywhere near as demanding as what a real game would be in these same you know, type of settings, um, but yeah, 30 frames a second isn't, isn't horrible, I feel like it could do better, to be honest, I'm just really not sure, oh, now we're up to 40, it just depends on the scene too, of course, um, uh, but it's averaging 33 frames a second, minimum's 28, max is 42, 
but yeah, I'm not really sure. Like, I feel like I should be getting better frames per second, you know, with 1660 gigahertz on the fucking core and shit. Um, I haven't tinkered with my VRAM speeds. I've kind of left them at auto. I'm wondering if maybe I should go in there and try to... I'm um, not VRAM speeds, I'm sorry, VRAM voltage. I kind of let the voltage on my VRAM just do whatever it needs to do. Um, I wonder if maybe I should crank it up or something that would help. But I do have, you know, running at 3200 megahertz um, for my RAM. So it, pretty much the VRAM is running at 3200 megahertz as well. Which I haven't tried to go above 32. You know, that's what my thing's rated for. I'm kind of curious if I can get it above 32. So maybe we'll try that here in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, still sitting, you know, at 30 frames a second. And everything is pretty smooth and clean. It's all supposed to be floating like this. It's not something wrong with my computer, I promise. <laughs> the gravity benchmark but yeah I mean everything looks good even at 30 frames a second it's pretty smooth and clean so um, all right let's exit out of it oh wait there's one more thing I think here at the end this is like scene 13 out of 17 there's one part at the end that I was running this before when I was on 4.1 gigahertz and stuff like that and load you know clock speeds on the GFX and it would run most of this fine until we got up to these later scenes, and then bam, 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 black screen, black screen, black screen, crash, crash, crash. And don't be afraid of black screens and crashes, guys, you know, do the over... I'll go back and I'll go over some of the overclocking and stuff like that in there and how I tinkered with it. Um, it's my first time ever, ever overclocking a PC in my entire life, and it was stupid simple. I mean, you, you can't break this thing. I cranked it, you know, as long as you keep the voltages within a reasonable amount, you can't break the thing. It'll crash, it'll blue screen, it'll black screen, it'll restart itself, and... You just reset the fucking settings. It's great. All right, so I came up with a 4,325 on 1080p low. So if we can try and go and compare our results online real quick. Um, 1080p extreme, no. 1080p medium. Even on 1080p medium, I'm still, let's see, my score is like, what, 4,000 something? Let's go to the last page. I'm barely keeping up with, on, and they're on medium. I'm on low. And these are an Intel Core i5 4570 with an Asus GeForce GTX 760. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm barely, I got like the same score as they did. And then here on this page, you know, here's, let's see, another close one. GTX 960. What was my score? Let's see what it said. 4,300. Yeah, I was way below these guys. So that's what that's what kind of pisses me off. It's like right here is a Ryzen 5 1600 on a GeForce GTX 1050. And it's running at 4858. And I got like a 43 something. It's like I feel like I should be closer to that 48 mark. See, look at MSI fucking being a piece of shit, man. Fix your website, MSI. You suck. God, I can't even fucking show you a simple fucking thing, man. Um, okay, so let's pretend like MSI is working, for fuck's sakes. You, you go to that page I showed you, you go to the motherboard, you select the motherboard, you pick the, you know, the little drop-down menus, you select your motherboard, um, and as soon as you click the, your exact motherboard, the first page that pops up will say drivers. You know, there'll be a different couple little tabs you can choose between. Oh, shit, here we go. There'll be a couple little different tabs you can choose between, and it'll say drivers. So... X370, oh god, come on. Gaming Pro Carbon. Damn it, I can't type. Um, again, it's probably not going to work. So there'll be a couple of tabs like right here. You could, you know, it'll be automatically be on the one that says driver. You scroll down just a little bit, and that top first thing that you see will be the newest, most up to date driver for your motherboard. It'll even say the date that it came out. It should be like January something of 2018. Um, and that's going to be the one that you want to download. So over on the right-hand side, you'll click Download. It'll download into your Downloads folder. You go into your Downloads folder. Blah, 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 Downloads folder. You're going. It'll be in a zip file, so it'll be zipped. So you're going to right-click on it. Let's pretend this is it. You're going to right-click on it. You're going to click the Unzip button. Um, if it doesn't give you an Unzip button for some reason, go into it. Try to click on the little file that's in there and I'll say hey we can't read this without un unzipping or extracting they'll call it on Windows 10 um, so it'll probably say extract all instead of unzip all I'm sorry um, hit extract all oh shit it's moving look at it, it's moving okay gaming pro and see here's my fucking issue yet again 
I know my goddamn motherboard is on here because I found it multiple times, but mine is the X370 Gaming Pro Carbon Regular, not AC. It doesn't fucking come up on here half the fucking time, and you have to, like, search different ways through the website to fucking find it, and it's a real pain in the fucking dick. Um, but if yours is on here, click the one you want, so we're going to go to download, let's say, I can't remember what you said yours was, um, let's say it's the Gaming Plus. So we're going to click download. Let's see if it'll fucking load. Um, all right, so back to this. You extract... Oh, God, my fucking mouth hurts. Holy shit. Mm, I might have just ripped open one of my fucking sutures yelling. Jesus. Oh, sorry. Um, so you're going to extract the files. And, it, you know, you can choose where to extract the files to, blah, blah. If you want to extract them right back here into the downloads folder, you know, that's fine. So once you've extracted the files... Oh, look, it's moving. It's kind of moving. So here you go. See, okay, it's not loading, but again, so the first page it loads up is BIOS, not driver, I'm sorry, it's BIOS. And right there at the top, release date 1-29-2018, description, improved memory capability, improved PCI device capability, updated ACE blah 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 to support Raven Ridge CPU. That's going to be the one you want. So you click the little red button right here, and I'll, I'll even do it, I don't even care, I'll just download it. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to click open, open it, blah, blah. And see, the way that it shows is that it's an open folder, but it's actually still zipped. So you try to click here. You try to click, like, the uh, the text document. Oh, God, it actually opened. What the fuck? Um, here. Uh, no. Okay, that's weird. So go back. It's weird that it's already saved like that. All right, so if you're... Compressed folder, extract, extract all. Okay, so here we go. You got extract all right up here in the top with Windows 10. Extract all, uh, browse, so just set it right back to your downloads folder, select folder, and extract. Okay, so now it extracted into an open folder that you can actually touch. You're going to go into it. There's only two files in here. You're going to copy both of them. And right click, copy. You're going to plug in the other little USB drive that does not have your Windows on. It's the empty one. I'm going to plug that in. I'll even plug it in for you just to show you. Oh, God, if I can get over here. Come on. Okay. It's plugged in. Blah, 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 blah. USB drive. Open folder to view files. Okay, so my little D drive already has my two f little files on here for mine when I did mine. As you can see, they are labeled differently and stuff like that. So um, this, I'm going to leave those on there because I want my things on there. So what you do is I copy these two already. You open up your little D drive file. Hold on. I know a bunch of people are going to be like, why do you have all this stuff open on the top? It's so weird. Um, so you right click, paste. And it's going to copy the two files that I just downloaded into here, like so. Blah, 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 and you're done. So now that it's in there, um, you are ready to flash your BIOS. So you leave the stick alone. Obviously, you only want the two files from yours in there, not, not two from two different ones. So I'm just going to delete those new ones that I just put in there and pretend like these are the ones for your BIOS. Okay, so I've got them on there. They're all loaded up, blah, blah. Close everything else. Close everything else. You're going to go back, restart the computer, and you're going to go back into your BIOS. Leave that little USB stick plugged into the computer that has the little BIOS um, files on it that we just did. Restart. Once everything starts, you know, to come on. Click delete a bunch of times. Just you know, clicky, 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 and goes into the BIOS. So now that you're in your BIOS, you have that little stick plugged in back there. You're going to click. M flash um, or something very similar to M flash. You know, if you're by, if you're MSI like I am, it should be M flash too. Click M flash. System will auto reboot and enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? You're going to click yes, um, and it'll reboot itself. It'll go into a window that'll look similar, kind of like to the BIOS. Yeah, obviously, it's not the same thing, uh, but it'll say some stuff over here on the left side. You know, booting from blah blah blah, and then it'll say select file over here on the right hand side. If you only copy those two little files into there, one's a README for it to understand what's going in there, 
and then the other one will be the only file shown for you to click on and select. So you just select that one file, click M flash or update or flash or yes, okay, next, whatever the button is down there that does it, and it'll say warning, do not turn off the power, do not do this, your keyboard and your mouse are deactivated while this is happening so you can't fuck with anything, and a little loading bar will move across the bottom of the screen, and it'll flash your BIOS, everything will restart, and you are fucking done. It's that simple. It really is, man. Don't send your shit back to um, MSI unless that's really your easiest option for you. You know, if you can get a boot kit from these dudes, make them do it. Um, and then everything will start back up. Um, all these options will become more available, and it'll be a better BIOS and everything, you know, with the new options and shit like that. You can actually turn on um, AXMP profiles and that kind of stuff. So once your BIOS is flashed, everything restarts. Start it all up, make sure everything's working, you know, and you, it's still recognizing the CPU perfectly. Um, so we're still doing all this with the A6 9500 in there. We haven't even put the 2400G in uh, because obviously we had to flash the BIOS first. BIOS is flashed, turn everything off. You know, hit save, F10, you haven't made any changes, save, that's fine. Um, go into Windows, shut the computer all the way the fuck off, go over here, um, unplug your CPU heat sink and your fan, and take it off. Pop the little bar, take the A6 9500 out, put it in a nice little safe spot back in its little plastic casing that they sent to you um, because you have to send it back to them or they're probably going to try and charge you for it. And it is like a $60 or $80 chip. You don't want that. Um, so take it out, put it in a safe little spot. That was weird. You see that, you see that shit tweaking over there? Um, put it in a safe little spot and then get your 2400G. Pop your 2400G in there, lock it down, uh, put your heat sink and fan back on there, crank everything down, make sure it's all nice and tight, and you're ready to go. That's it. You start it up, and once you start up, it's going to give you another screen like what you saw in my last video, where it's that black screen, and it said uh, something you have changed your hardware, uh, press F1 to go into boot options, or press F2 to just like default and go. Um, from that screen, press your boot options, um, and go into the BIOS. Um, so from that point, I guess I should go into the BIOS and show you how to tinker with the BIOS a little bit. I guess I could stop it here so this video isn't getting too long. Um, but that's it. It's, as far as installing Windows goes and installing the BIOS uh, or flashing your BIOS, it, it's that simple. I mean, you, you really just download them real quick from the website onto these little flash drives, plug shit in, and go. And you're done. Um, so I'm going to end this video here. And then my next video, I'm going to go into the BIOS. I'm going to show you some overclocking. Uh, we're going to tinker around with all the different settings and stuff like that and show you what I did and what was and wasn't working for me. And um, we'll go from there. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I do respond real quick because um, i got nothing better to do with my life. And um, I appreciate your time. Thank you much. See you.